Lynn Miles, an American who dedicated much of his life to battling injustices associated with Taiwan's martial law, passed away earlier this morning. He was known for his jovial spirit and uplifting humor, as well as an unfailing commitment to democracy. Miles previously faced threats and later banishment from Taiwan for secretly chronicling rights abuses and lists of political prisoners, which he disseminated in an overseas newsletter. Longtime democracy activist Lynn Miles succumbed in his final battle with a form of lung cancer today, passing away at the age of 72. Close friend and fellow comrade in the fight for Taiwan's democracy, Linda Gail Arrigo, displayed a number of old photographs and recounted Miles' many contributions to Taiwan's democracy. Among his many brave acts was shedding light on the plight of Taiwan's political prisoners to an international audience. He was good at reading both Chinese and Japanese. He was very serious about collecting information, which had to be kept secret, and then disseminated to a larger network. Later, he would continually send people into Taiwan to collect this information. Arrigo displayed a handwritten table of political prisoners that Miles had compiled, which was later presented to the international community to better understand human rights abuses associated with Taiwan's martial law. An American, Miles came to Taiwan in 1962 to study Chinese. His arrival coincided with a fledgling democracy movement. His persistent work in this field led to his deportation in 1971. Despite being blacklisted, Miles continued to compile information about Taiwan's political prisoners and KMT abuses while living in Japan. Tokyo had established a branch of Amnesty International. Lynn Miles knew I was in Tokyo, so he came to my house to look for me. In 1996, Miles was finally permitted the opportunity to return to Taiwan and continue his work as an English teacher and translator. He will be remembered for his brave work for those who opposed injustice and nurturing a democratic network which would eventually give flower to the vibrant democracy that is Taiwan.